Good afternoon and welcome back to the program. Of course, the show continues until 3 o'clock. Right about now, we discuss how sports can be used to give back to the society and empower community. And joining us is WBC Super Lightweight Champion, Judy Wagudi. Of course, closer to me, Judy. Niaje? Long time. Kabisa. And at the middle, of course, is a pupil, a class 8 pupil at Kilimani Primary School. She tells me that she's an upcoming boxer. She wants to emulate on Judy or Zarika. She's called Rose Magdalene. Yes. Sure? Yes. To tap man after show. I'm alive with camera. Live, sai, sai. And of course, Christine Anyang, who is the professional teacher. Christine, good to have you on board. How are you? You? I'm fine. Thank you. Of course. Let's speak about sports and CSR. Judy, you run an initiative called Raw Sugar Warriors. What is it about? Mm, Raw Sugar Warriors is about uh, just uh, empowering young girls. I started the initiative uh, last year and I thought of creating a safe, a safe space for girls. Like Tuna Patana, we talk, we train, and we just talk freely because I was like at their age, they just need someone to talk to, to have fun and uh, to forget about the problems at home or the transitioning of them from young girls to the adolescent stage. Yes. So that's what we have been working on. And uh, it started at, as a fun thing. And now, no one is going to future champions. Better or good. Nice. So, Rose, yes. Magdalene yes. is uh, among those pupils yes. that <laughs> attend the initiative. Do you want to talk to them? Do you want to talk to <laughs> At least hapo nimekushinda. Kwa ngumi ulizemu unaweza ni wai. So, imekuwaje kwa camp kwa hiyo initiative umelan? Mm. Umelan vitu nyingi. Kama gani? Kus boxing, wenye unaweza def defend na vitu nyingi. Na wenzako pale kwa camp wame benefit pia. Mm -hmm. Wanasema nini kuhusu initiative? Wanasema iko sawa. Mm. Na inawasaidia tumeishi. Na pia life skills, kama wei ni mwanafunzi, sasa wei uko class 8, Kilimani Primary. Na pia unatendi initiative every Saturday. Unamane jaje kumaltitasi kwa sababu utafanya KCP. Na sitaiki wanguke mtiani mzazi ya seme, uli concentrate sana kwa raw sugar warriors. Ni vipu unamane jindo ubalance eco-education na pia... Hapo ni msaidia. Last year tulikuwa tunatrend thrice in a week, Monday, Wednesday na Friday. So on this year, Nikapata, I have uh, like almost 10 candidates who are class 8. That's when uh, Nika put Tina in the picture as a teacher and I was like, let's not only be boxing, actually make a teacher in the mix. We are now idea with the, where they, they feel wako chini kwa, kwa subjects zao. So now, this year we just train once in a week, only on Saturday at 4. So that helps them to juggle between education and mm. sport. Yeah. So Tina, your professional input, how has it been of much help to the kids well, who attend the initiative? Thank you. I think we've uh, gone at least a step ahead and uh, it's helping them a lot, especially in the classwork. Uh, it's not easy, but we need to try and try and try. So we've been trying at least to balance the education part and the boxing part and that's why I've been helping them around. So specifically, what do you teach them? Like all subjects, yeah. You know, a primary teacher teach, teaches all subjects. So any, a, any subject that they have a problem with, I teach. But uh, specifically in school, I teach English, social studies, and CRA. So the additional, you know, teaching, you impact on them uh, is a plus because the same they also get to be offered in their respective schools. Isn't it the case? Yeah, sure. Like... How do you ensure that there's no repetition? <laughs> oh, like no repetition of what we are doing? Yes. You know, it's uh, about revision, not necessarily going on with the syllabus. Like, we revise what they have learned. So at least if they had a problem with it, they will start understand better by then now. Judy, what informed the idea? It looks like you know a nice initiative, brilliant, very noble. What, what, what really uh, made you think about it? <laughs> uh, I actually, the idea came when I was hitting rock bottom. 
last year it was a tough year for me in my career and um, I move around a lot in social medias in uh, TV trying to, to ask for help and then after that I was like I'm a little girl what like I need to bounce back I need to not to end the story like because the, the only thing actually for now what people remember me is like crying on national TV asking for <laughs> By the way, it did trends, yeah. especially on Twitter. <laughs> so after that, uh, I, hit, uh, I hit lock bottom, then I was like, the people who were supposed to support me, they didn't. And then uh, one day my husband asked me like, you're criticizing them, but you're on the same. You're not doing anything. You do something for the society. And that's when I was like, okay. I think I'll start to do to train boxing, kids boxing, and uh, it was a bit tricky because when uh, the few friends I talked to, they were like, "Wow, to start that initiative in Kibera, it's tricky because uh, Kibera kumeja briefcase CBO." Was it coming? Is coming? And they are not doing anything, so I was like, "Ah, it'll be another CBO briefcase." Then I was like, maybe I try to be a bit special. Then I was like, that's when I targeted the girls. Because with the boys, it's very easy. Or if I say mix, boys and girls, uh, the, the boys will over, overpower the, yes. girls, the, the outcome. So I was like, let me specialize on the girls. And I know the life in the hood. And uh, I was like, we have a moment of having fun, enjoying, forgetting your problems. Uh, there is not much I can do for them, but I'm like, let me create a safe space for them, and we have two, three hours. You forget Mashida's at home, Kelele's at home, and then you come, you do boxing, to Tuonge, to we, uh, we have tea or yogurt, we talk, then we end at home. So after a while, uh, it, it moved on well. For the whole of last year, I was alone, I was doing it alone. Then I was like, I get to, actually it has an impact. I need to expand it more, so that's when I talked to Tina. She's like family, I've been uh, together for a few years. I talked to her and uh, the first thing I started with like, na hakuna mshara. Hapa ni voluntary. Disclaimer mapema. She was just, she just jumped in into the idea and uh, we are doing well. I would say we are doing well. Magda, yeah. sasa oh uko kwa hii initiative, eh, wazazu wame kusupport? Eh. Kivipi? kwa kila kitu ni nataka na na waambia na anasema iko ni sawa nezaenda na boros urudi mapema sichele sasa sasa hivi anakuona kwa tv sijui na eh venye uliwaambia ati unataka kwanza ku attend raw sugar warriors wali response yao ilikuwa aje wali walisema ati unaweza piga kweli ngumi nikaambia venye nimekuuliza si ndio eh mimi nikamwambia je eh hebu nionyeshe nikaonesha ukajaribu ku box eh na ikapiga mtu mm ama ni hewa tu <laughs> ilipiga mtu <laughs> alafu sasa shule nayo walimu anasema aje kuhusu wewe ku attend hiyo initiative ya Ro Sugar Warriors oh baju mm Hawajui. Bwana <laughs> Fawajui lakini. Naweza waambia? Didiskia. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tina, uh, in terms of education, how is the progress in terms of empowerment? I know life skills is very basic, extremely paramount. Has it been like the process of, you know, dealing with uh, 12, 13 year olds like uh, Magdapa, who might be a little bit stubborn? Uh, uh, it's been, How do you overcome the same? It's been a lot of challenge. Like sometimes you go there, you expect them to be on time. You want to they start not teaching. Punctual. They are not there. You uh, you send one, go call them. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sometimes they come. They are like, Mama, Lisepa ni ende church mpaka sakumi sasa sikuji. Wale wa SDS as. On Sunday we do uh, the tuition on Sundays. Uh -huh. So sometimes uh, one is still at church. I don't know, washing the church, doing what. So you know. Which is equally good. Yes, it's equally good, but like they have petty excuses not to attend the classes you know so, so sometimes you the just, excuses are never genuine yeah so sometimes you know you you just have to pressure them and tell them like this is for your own good so you really need to attend this and then uh, uh, the first week was uh, 
the, the the number that turned out was not that good the second week at least they tried to come but nowadays everyone wants to come you see so i think it's much progress to be with the girls and to interact with them and to teach them so how many are they in a class mm, it varies nowadays it varies because like the uh, we have like 25 girls and then the class 8 girls are like 10 so sometimes even the class 7 comes even the class 6 so we just do the tuition together with them so sometimes it's like uh, 15 16 they come yeah judy i know the background of slums sometimes it's quite difficult to ensure that the initiative you pioneer uh, gets into you know one of those success stories, but you determined, focused, and committed towards breaking that jinx, defying all odds, mm -hmm. to ensure the same comes to pass. How has it been like, in terms of, you know, the idea getting embraced by the locals, especially in Kibra, where you said there are a lot of briefcase uh, community-based organizations? We are, still, we are still struggling, but the good thing is the kids are on board, so the parents are coming on board slowly. I would say they are coming on board slowly. Last year it was a bit tricky, but this, this year I'm seeing the results. When we launched the CBO last Sunday, uh, the, the guests were the, half of them they were the parents and they actually came. I was like, uh-uh. And they were, um, uh, I went door to door actually to invite them, and the ladies came and uh, they were impressed and shocked, like, ah, and it's a fine evil. And then after that, uh, I did an exhibition. Because when I talk, people usually think like, ah, why is it Pigana? So the, to, to finish the, the event, I did a, an exhibition with another professional boxer for three rounds. And uh, I guess that was the icing on the top, like, actually they can do it. So they, mist okay. they mistake your small-bodied nature yeah, to and, uh, <laughs> a person when, who can't fight. <laughs> even when we were doing door-to-door, -door, like, hey, you want to find your box? And they want to find your box. <laughs> so I think what you need to do next time, ukwe na simu na ile zile link zaku nezwa onesha, do approve. After, after, after Sunday, I think now, we'll, I think we'll have more positive, positive parents and also with the girls, I usually tell them uh, our slogan. I would say our slogan. Our slogan is usually like, "Don't let poverty define you. A true sugar warrior is it all about. Let the talent and your character define you." If nini, and I usually tell them my story. Like at your age, I'm trying to be It was, I would say, like a dream. Get out of here. <laughs> and it happened. So. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm happy with the positive results I'm seeing. So Magda can equally make it. Sasa, unataka kuwa kaa nani? <laughs> unataka kuwa kama judi? So far, mazoezi imekuwa aji, umepigana pigana, ukaona unaeza kuwa strong. Pia we unajua atasema, we unaeza pigana kweli? Venye wazazi wali kushuku. Mm. Mwazi ni shuku. Eh? <laughs> Sibi pia mina pigana. <laughs> Uko kibra ama kwa shule? Kwatu. <laughs> Unapigana na kina nana, lakini si kupigana ile ya kuumiza mtu. E. Eh. Eh. Ile... Si mtu waki nichokoza pia mina mchokoza na nampigi. Eh. <laughs> na chokoza na. <laughs> so unatawa kuwa professional boxer, kama mm. kina konje, zarika, judi hapa. E. Eh. Ukoshua eh, your goal, itakuwa achieved? Yes. What do you seek to do to ensure that your objective comes to pass? Unajua kitambu utake kuwa kitu, saisi uko class 8, mm. ukita kupata over 400 marks, uta work hard, uta soma kwa BD, sasa unataka kuwa boxer, ni nini utafanya? Sina kwa nafata wenye cha judiana tuambia. Tina, mm. I know um, a teacher you have your own school where you offer your professional service sure. and this one is just uh, a passion now that you decide you grew up together and you've been friends for a while and that's why you ran uh, and you never hesitated coming to her rescue when she <laughs> requested for your aid even yeah, sure. on pro bono basis in terms of the way forward and the future of this initiative where do you see it i i, I see this like it's gonna explode 
<laughs> like all over the world. Okay, even uh, that Sunday after the, the launching of the boxing, I actually texted her and I told her, this is going to be boom. See, I told you that. <laughs> yeah, and then she was just laughing and I was like, yes, it's going to be okay. And it's going to be like a big thing. Let's just now tell the world that we are here to stay. Okay? Yes. Yes. And then uh, the parents also came out. Uh, actually, the parents, when they knew that even uh, the classwork is there, now they started like, okay, kama ni masomo hacha waende. Unaona? So sasa yeah, by the yeah. way. Kama ni masomo hacha waende. So unapata mtoto anatolewa at least hiyo Saturday anakuja and then tume tumejaribu pia kuiweka sasa kibira yote ijue kuna kitu inafanyika mali in Kibera. So it's going to be something big and na sasa hiyo masomo imekuwa plus for example for her who is a class 8 pupil preparing to sit for her KCP exams uh, has it been of added advantage to her even in her respective school of Kilimani primary kwa sababu what you teach them i know they get taught the same mm -hmm. at their respective schools and that now boosts their chances of even doing better yeah yeah it, it, it has helped a lot like um, you know, I don't only teach classwork. Yeah. So we teach even life skills. I even teach them life skills. When they, uh, uh, like when we, uh, when we came, th uh, they couldn't even communicate, like in English. There is a day I was communicating with them in English. You know, too, what to I go to like, ah, teacher, yo, see, 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 my evil. Now you're not doing quite So I, I, then I gave them composition. They never uh, brought the composition and they were like, you English, see only come out of Then I was like, you know what? You have to do it. You really have to do it. Because tell me, uh, next time you will be out there, uh, the way Judy went out to to fight and uh, in Spain and wherever. So you will go there and then you are interviewed by a Muzungu or something like that. How will you respond? Then you know by the end of the day everyone started speaking in English. <laughs> <laughs> they had yeah. no option but they to They had no option. Of course they were seeing like, enyewe tichako, right? Sasa tutaongea English aje kama tuju English. You know, so it's, it's really doing good and I think it's making an impact on their life. Me too, I, I, I am from Kibera, so when I tell them, I'm a teacher, they are like, Ah, uli toka huku kweli na ukakuwa teacher. Niko like, yes, nilikuwa naishi. In fact, pali tunafanya tuition, I used to stay down there. Even the Apo library. Apo karibu na kwa kina eh. Steve o Simple Boy. Apo, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yon nilikuwa, ata yu library enye tunasomea, I used to go there when I was in high school. So nilikuwa na mwambia like, if I made it, why not you? So you really have to work hard. You really have to get up uh, from your comfort zone and say that I'm not defined by where I come from. I will, uh, I will make it. Yeah. So Judy, mm -hmm. several slums within the Nairobi County. Why did you opt for Kibra? Because I understand there is Madare mm -hmm. where such cases are rampant and kids also want to get subjected to such you know, noble initiative. Mukuru kwa Ruben, Mukuru kwa Njenga, the likes of Lunga Lunga. Why did you settle for Kibra? And mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, going forward in the future, do you look forward spreading your wings a little bit further to other slums as well? <laughs> uh, um, I stay in Jamuhuri, so Kibra is up on you. Oh, ni karibu. Yeah, ni karibu. And uh, I grew up. I grew up in Dandora, so I was like, could take two matatus, go to Dandora, then back home. I have a ni. small kid. I have a like family life. Mzee anataka apate dinner on the table. Nikona ita mess up somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, uh, it's still giving back to community. So I was like, let me just uh, nyanze hapa nyuma yangu. So that's how I came up with uh, Kibira. Ata nikutulikuwa tu, do to do. Places I, I didn't know. I mean, Jamuri, but Kibira iko nyuma. So I was like, do to do. And then uh, it went well. And for the future, I don't know. I, I would say... One thing at a time. Let me not chew, talk big. Get of ambitious. <laughs> yeah, get of ambition. Ambitious because uh, I, I still have that mentality of a boxer. Boxers, we are just, uh, tunasemanga, tunakuanga telefocus. It's like one thing about yes. winning a fight. You get done with this one, 
<laughs> yeah, before you yeah. think on you know, we are usually we focus on one thing like training eating sleeping and beating visualizing when you tapiga your opponent so it's something i'm trying to transition with to spread uh, my mind like to do other things and i think uh I, w- I would I would say let me take it one at a time and not be too ambitious or talk too big. Magda, marafiki zako nao wanasema aje kuhusu hii initiative. Na pia shule, unaona ume, imekusaidia sana venye malimtina na kufunza, pia unaenda shule unafunzo. Imekusaidia academically? Mm, imekusaidia. <laughs> unaona utaperform vizuri? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Juu mimi nitakuletea success card na yeah na naweza kupatia present na kupatia present ukipata 400 ulete kitu na hiyo success eh ni kwa na pesa hiyo success kwa na pesa success card iko na pesa mm ni lazima shunge niambie ni kuletee kitabu kitabu na list ya KCP so i know this is a, one of the those difficult interviews to do if it was one on one with uh, magdalene she would have given me hard time so <laughs> let's wrap Tina, you are parting short in terms of the expectation. What do you promise the kids? Um, I want to promise them like uh, first I want to urge them to continue working hard. Yes. In school in the part of boxing, they continue doing their best. And also I want to tell them like hard work pays. So they should work hard and I promise them to be there for them. Any time they need me they always be like wapi cha Christine wapi cha Tina so they have duty to communicate any time they need me and I will always be there to, uh, for them to support them to talk to them to offer emotional support you know sometimes they come from home and they are like mama ali ni chapa sijui nini hataki kusoma so, so you have like inabidi wewe offer consolation mm, inabidi umwambie hiyo ni part of light uh, uh, part of life Mama kichapa alikuwa na correct to kesho tena ni another day and that's it. Judy, I remember you shedding tears on a national television when your efforts to get a sponsor that could have helped you, you know, secure uh, uh, an opportunity to defend your title were fruitless and at some point towards the end of last year I think we caught up at the uh, Lavington uh, every fitness gym where you said you contemplating you know quitting boxing i don't know do you still hold on to the same position or uh, there looks like some light at the end of the tunnel ahead uh, <laughs> i would say I, i no longer have the the hunger to be in the ring when i when i train these girls uh, that's where my my love has switched to kuna mtu anapiga anapiga za poa na right anapiga right poa ame nimemwambia paka atampiga paka at poa and i'm like i think uh, it's my turn to to nurture the better wagudi like where i reach i can so, get so a better so so hiyo hiyo ring yako iko tu kwa nyumba now that you failed to defend it what the happens best, yeah the act- best. actually no, in october last year the wbc president just wrote us an email and was like i'm sorry guys first of october i will declare the belt vacant and it was declared vacant so i still have the belt at home but uh, it has no value but maybe we thought mm-hmm. when uh, ambassador amina muhammad got appointed cs mm-hmm. for sports because she's a lady just like yourself maybe the plight of women sportsmen especially yourself mm-hmm. the likes of fatuma zarika will be addressed yourself mm-hmm. you made some approach to your governor mm-hmm. who is also a lady mm-hmm. kirinyaga county governor mm-hmm. how was it like kuliendaje kwani i would say it was an embarrassment we actually we met amina we went me and zarika we presented the belt and she had just started picked the office so we were like to kampatia mashida zetu and she was like i will take over where things left and uh, i'm sure there will be changes but we are we are yet to see the changes uh, i was introduced to my governor in kirinyaga the fight actually was supposed to happen in kirinyaga sure there i went i had a, a meeting with the with the cs of gender and was like we are taking it over we are our child the budget i came back uh, we're like I, ca- i came back to nairobi i was like go and put up the budget i put up the budget 
I went back and they were like, don't worry, Kirinyaga County will be your sponsor. So ni, ni Karudi Nairobi na ni kaingia training camp. And uh, uka piga zoezi, uka piga zoezi. opponent, the, the opponent president. was from which country? Canada, was uh, Kamara, Jessica Kamara of the WBC approved. It was on, even the date it was scheduled, it was supposed to be 23rd August in Kirinyaga County. And uh, and they just went mute on me. Out of nowhere, I'm calling. <laughs> and answered calls. And answered, and answered call. texts. And uh, three days to 23rd uh, August, I got an SMS from the CS. A little patient, we are working on it. And that's what, that was it. Up to now, I guess they're still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's assume the middle people <laughs> but didn't push her father. But it's okay, Ama. Uh, you are doing very well right now. You are happy running yeah, this it's initiative. A, it's, it's sad I lost the belt, but what I'm doing, uh, I'm happy. I found peace. I found peace with it. I've, uh, I've, I've, uh, I forgot. Uh, okay, I moved on, I would say. I moved on. Sasa, Mag Magda, yeah. now that Judy Ali, Ali Pata peace, I may move on, I may house the predicament, Zaki Zaktambu, you need to take that, f uh, take it to another level. From where she left, mm. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we've been talking about sports and uh, corporate social responsibility. How sports can be used to empower community, give back to the society. The initiatives that can be run through sports to ensure that you know kids, the upcoming uh, sportsmen and women, are mentored, are given proper, uh, you know, opportunity to learn on the life skills. And it's been a pleasure having Judy Wagudi, who is the WBC Silver Lightweight Champion, Rose Magdalene, a student, a class eight pupil at Kilimani Primary School, and Christina Anyango, who is a professional teacher, uh, trying to ensure this kids get you know what it takes to be successful in the future always a pleasure having you judy asante kukuja we are happy thank Mashkuru you for having mm? rose pia wea asante kukuja <laughs> imekua aje kukua kwa tv for the first time watu <laughs> lakini unagopa kuongea kidogo kidogo but off mic mm? unandlemea <laughs> <laughs> tina thank you for coming through thank you for always a pleasure of course don't go away coming up next with the fans on fan favorite segment where we shall discuss international football though there is uh, a few fixtures happening only bundesliga league happening this particular weekend after the outbreak of coronavirus but of course other headlines will be shaping up our conversation don't go away stay tuned